I attend fishing shows and fishing sales events in order to introduce the public to a lot of these great items and great products and merchandise that these small, small business owners sell. One of the products that I have used for years and I really enjoy and is very effective is Texas Rattler Jig Heads. Rex that owns Texas Rattler Jig Head is very innovative. He's extremely passionate about his merchandise, his products, and his employees. And very, very knowledgeable. He's been fishing his whole life. And we'll let Rex explain to you about his jig heads and what they can do. That's what we have going on today. Well, I tell you what, we've got our rattling jig heads that, that rattle. Okay, and it's like this. You hear this sound? What do you do? You go answer the door. If you've got a dog, it's going to beat you to the door. It's right. part of nature. Uh, sound invades your territory, you're going to go check it out. And so they do attract fish with the sound, but what I do here is you can see that uh, gold beam of light on my left index mm -hmm. finger. Yep. So these, these reflect like actually put out a beam of light like a flashlight. So when your trout comes in, the, the sound's going to attract them. But so when they come up here, they're not going to go for the tail. If you're using a regular jig head, you're depending on that vibration of that tail to attract right. the fish on its lateral line. Okay? But fish have ears. Just like you and I, they can hear. The lateral line is for vibration, not for hearing. They have ears. They're called otoliths. Okay? And they hear. And so when they come over here and see it, they've got a bullseye because that they've got a target. And you're gonna get less tail bites, you're gonna get more solid hook sets. So it's gonna save you money on your plastics. And another way that we help people is they'll come out with my patent pending U-lock. It's called the Universal Lock or U-lock. It's the only locking device that locks a plastic in all the way around. And we're depending on the rubber housing creates friction, right? We put rubber tires on Model A Fords 100 years ago. We're putting rubber tires on 2020 Lexuses. Rubber is still the greatest creator of friction known to man. Even though we're putting machines all over the world in the universe, rubber is still the greatest creator of friction. So we got that working for us. But that's not the secret of the U-Lock, okay? The secret of the U-Lock is it. If you leave two soft, different soft plastics together, two soft plastics together, they're gonna change colors, exchange colors. If you leave them on the deck of your boat or kayak in the sun, they're gonna to fuse together or melt together because the laws of chemistry are such that when polymers made up with each other, they try and exchange chemicals. So what's actually happening here is not just the friction, okay? It is the fact that the polymer plastic is trying to bond with that rubber housing. And so uh, the result of that, and I can show you no matter which lure you pick up, it's a K Den or uh, a Down South, okay? Your plastics are, or even the nasty baits, the, the, your bait's gonna try and stick to that rubber housing. So like pull on, the, pull on that tail. Uh, oh yeah. Is, okay, you see that? Yeah. Pull, pull, go ahead, pull a little harder. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, pull a little harder. Yeah. Okay, so it's not really moving much. So on a regular jig head, they're depending on a lead prong or a stainless steel wire to hold that bait on. So when you catch a big red or a trout with some very or finder with real toothy, real teeth, and then you start fighting that thing for two, three, five minutes. On a regular jig head, it's just the lead prong or the stainless steel wire is going to tear your bait up. Right. So you're going to have to dig in the tackle box while the fish are there. Right. I call that being pinched. Yes. Let me explain this to you. With, it, this may slip, but it won't tear. What you do is you just push it back up, you cast back out. I see. You're not digging in your tackle box. The fish are either drift, moving through, passing through, or you're drifting through them. They're not staying there saying, hurry up, re-rig, and cast back out. So the way I equate that is if you're using a Texas Rattler, okay, you're in the batter's box hitting home runs while your buddy using a generic jig head going back to the dugout for another bat. You're going to hit more home runs because you're getting more swings. It's the same thing with this. If your hook stays in the water, you're going to catch more fish. You're going to save money on soft plastics because your tails, are, they're not going to go for the tail, they're going to go for the head. 
and your locking device won't tear up your plastic. You're going to catch more fish. You're going to save money on your soft plastic. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we're, we've got our new Real Life Series jigs that we've come out with. And you can see that uh, it looks like a real fish's eye. Okay, awesome. and look at this. This is uh, Acadian right here, the ice. But you can see that it looks like a real bait fish's eye. Now, our red eye series were still is really good for muddy water, but the real eyes are good for shallow water or trout green water, and it's just a little bit more uh, light retaining. Either these eyes reflect light, these eyes retain light. Either way, it's going to look like a real eye down there, subsurface. And what that does is it gives the sound of the rattle is going to attract them, but the light and the eyes fish feed head first on their eat their prey head first so what you get is a bullseye the sound's going to attract them but they got a bullseye to hit you're going to get less tail bites you're going to get more hookups per strike and i talked to uh brooks elliston the owner of landers fishing he said since he's been using the texas rattle jigs his fish catch has gone up about 30 percent he's fishing the same places he's catching more fish which is uh, and so the real eyes are very effective and you can okay, see the difference I mean you can play with these things here's the same lure with two different uh, colored eyes on it so we're going to give the you anglers the choice of what you want uh, with your deep water muddy water or clear water or trout green water fishing and uh, our weedless spoons are still the only spoons on the market with eyes on both sides what, kind, what lures are these they're clear coated, so it won't tarnish. So this loose spoon is going to look like this until you lose it. Okay, but I'm the only guy that's putting a self-supporting weed guard. You can see that I'm hitting it right here, and it's not moving right there. Okay. Same with the quarter rounds. So when you when you're fishing and that grass hits it, it just comes off real easy. So this has been winning Down lots of tournaments. Yeah, I was gonna say that. And another setup that I wanted. Well, I got you here is. Jacob Sumney and these guys that are pro tournament red fishermen, they're using the black gold eye because it what? It resembles a mud minnow. When the shrimp leave the grass lines after the sun comes up, there's nothing left there but mud minnows. And that's what you can take a Texas roach and put it with that black gold eye Texas rattler jig and you're going to catch fish. And you're going to find your flounder catch is going to go up with that black gold eye. Because it was able to mud bait. We'll come out with our new. That'll begin in about eight I call it the T Max. Thank you. It's really a a weedless tourney max because a lot of the tournament anglers are going to this weedless. I like this weedless belly hook, and there are some others out there with the four millimeter rattle, but you can't hear the rattle. The shrimp farts louder than a four millimeter rattle. I would not put a four meter <laughs> millimeter rattle in anything that I ever made. They're not worth it. But you can hear that. Sucking that fish. Right, well, bad ears. Okay. And the four millimeter rattle ain't, I mean, you might as well not even put it in there. Right. And you can adjust that front to back. You can flip this on the inside for a lower, lower profile. You can, if you want it nose down, you can put it towards the front. If you want it belly down, you push it towards the back. Okay. And then you can have it. Have it come down belly down. Okay, I see. push yeah. it towards the front, it's going to go nose down. Okay, so that's a little different variation in your yeah. presentation. Yeah, and when it goes nose down, it looks like it's feet. Belly down, it looks like a little a wounded fish. So, it depends on your presentation that's working that day. It gives you an opportunity to give a couple different presentations with the same hook. So, uh, and then we have our croaker hooks, which is actually just like a croaker. So, during croaker season, uh, you are going to catch a lot of fish without spending $60 on croaker. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and go over and check out Texas Rattler Cheek Hits.